Full time score in the Asuzu FA Trophy third round tonight. It's finished Altrigan 1, Curzon Ashton 0. Altrigan manager Phil uh, Parkinson joins us. Phil, um, plenty to admire in that performance um, th th throughout the game, but in the end, only just the one goal in it. Yep. Um, dominant performance from start to finish. Really pleased with the players. Um, you're in a hiding to nothing in these games. We, all we would have had thrown at us is is there a difference between full and part time? I'd like to think we've put that ghost to bed now in terms of people can see what we've done and the, the difference between full and part time. We've absolutely dominated the game from start to finish. Showed what we should show and done what we needed to do is get the result. I mean. Although it's 1-0, their keeper for me was man of the match. Um, so it, it could have been four or five in the first half, never mind the whole game. But Curzon come with a game plan. They were very difficult to beat, very robust. Um, but I felt we, we unpicked them so many times. If we were a little bit more clinical, it, 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 it should have been out of sight. And interesting that you mentioned there about the difference between full and part-time in the last six games, certainly. And even before that, I think we've really started to see the fruits of the work that's been put in uh, on, the, on the training pitch. Yeah, well, I've been, I think I've stood in front of you so many times this season and um, said the performances have been there. Uh, obviously, I probably underestimated the, the lads needing a little bit of time to gel with the clinical side of things and we, we've had to bring in a little bit more quality to, to get us over the line in certain games. Um, but I feel whatever 11 we field out there is always going to put in the performance. It's just whether we can be cutthroat in both boxes, which we were tonight, a clean sheet. 1-0 in the FA Trophy. Um, it was a really important game for us to, to make sure we got over the line in. A blow before the game, uh, Josh Lundstrom um, wasn't able to, to start the game. What was the problem there? Just precautionary. He felt his hamstring slightly, so there's no way I'm going to risk Josh. He's played probably more games than he's ever played continuously. Um, so we've got to be careful, we've got to be very aware of that and uh, we're, we're certainly very mindful when we're training of the distances and the, the loads that the players are getting. So where we're talking about full and part-time, that's the kind of detail that you can look at. You can do a lot by eye and speaking to the players as well, but with having Matt Fox on board and the sports science element that we implement, you could see it today with the lads running at the end. It wasn't about the distance they were covering, it was the high-speed sprints they needed to, to fulfil. And Matt had his iPad that we finally got through and uh, he was able to track that and make sure people were doing that. And it's the same with Josh, there was just no point in risking him when you've got a quality player like Elliot Osborne ready to go. And Elliot uh, has been out of the side in recent weeks, but I uh, thought he did well uh, for, for an hour or so whilst he was on the pitch. He did exceptionally well. I mean, it was literally about 30 seconds before they were going out, Josh notified me, I spoke to the referee and Curzon and the ref were good enough to allow us to do that. So. Um, it is what it is. We've had it the other way around where players have pulled up in a warm-up before. It makes no sense to risk people, so uh, we did that and it was the right thing to do. And, and Elliot got the hour under his belt that he's probably been craving for and needed badly. 30 minutes. I think we had almost <laughs> all of the ball, plenty of uh, chances, but we didn't get the, the opening goal. And gradually Curzon came out of their shell and had one or two chances uh, themselves. But we started the second half uh, well created lots and lots of chances and some of the football was an absolute delight. I hope so uh, and uh, I just want to thank the people who turned up uh, to, to watch that and that's what I wanted to make the players very aware of. It's not something we're taking lightly. We were desperate to get the result tonight. You could see with the team selection I hadn't changed much. Connor Jennings hadn't been training uh, last week so Jordan's been uh, working his socks off and deserved his start and I thought he did himself justice when he was on there so I think people could see we weren't taking it lightly, we didn't heavily rotate, we we're desperate to do well in this competition as we are all competitions it just doesn't always go your way. And eventually the goal uh, did uh, come and, and it was a really well worked goal. It was, and I think Toby did his best to try and miss it as well, didn't he? Um, but he, he put it in, and do you know what? It's been coming that for Toby. He's, he's been he's been really solid for us, give us a different dimension at fullback. Everyone knows it's not his first position, but it's an effective uh, position that he's fulfilling for us. And while we're winning games, he's professional enough to make sure that he continues to do that. And he's always a goal threat as well. He always arrives late. He's a big, powerful lad. And, He's not your archetypal fullback, is he? So what he gives us is that is that goal threat as well as defensive solidity. An unusual goal, fullback uh, inside the six-yard box by himself, uh, getting on the end of things. But that's a real positive. Well, they were that deep, weren't they? So we we encouraged the fullbacks to get as high as possible. I mean, you see Eddie's 
pretty much playing on the edge of the 18 yard box as well so it's something we identified we're certainly not going to sit off and just allow them space we, we wanted to put as much pressure on the box as possible and that's what happens when your full backs are high that they've tried to overload certain parts of the pitch and you're always going to leave a spare man and we, we managed to find Toby quite a few times tonight and like I said he's come up with the goods. He went uh, very close uh, shortly after the goal could have been two for uh, Toby uh, tonight. Curzon, to their credit, kept on uh, going. There were some good performances out there from some up former Altrincham uh, players. I thought Craig Marne put a real shift in. And um, Josh Hancock had a bit of an, an opportunity at the end, but it was a brilliant block by uh, Toby Malarkey. It was, and we're very aware of their strengths. And we knew this wasn't just going to be a National League team against a National League North team. There's probably all the players that could continue to play at the National League uh, bar one or two are probably at Kers and so like what I wanted to see was what I saw tonight the difference the decision that we made was right because you could see the difference between the part-time and full-time players the standard of football that we played was was outstanding tonight at times and yeah we, we did concede a couple of opportunities but you're not going to go the whole game without having any kind of goal threat up the other end it was very little very few and far between but Curzon deserve a lot of credit for for doing what they did they were very difficult to beat and on another night they, they potentially could nick it we've been in loads of games where we've dominated not took our chances and been on the the wrong end and I just feel what we've been through this season, the lads used that experience to make sure they kept the clean sheet and, and ensured that we got over the line. And we did defend very well tonight, I thought. Yeah, when we had to, we did. And I ex we expect that of them, don't you? And it's difficult for defenders when they don't have much to do. It's a bit like a goalkeeper now and again, all of a sudden they've got ahead a really long ball or they've got to maintain concentration. And that's something that I've, I've harped on about when we have lost games, concentration. And hopefully this is what the players are learning, Lewis Baines, James Jones, some absolutely uh, real good performances in there in terms of defending the box when they needed to. Like you said, a block from Toby there as well. Eddie Jones was outstanding again. And they need to do that. If the top players, they've got to keep clean sheets and hopefully we can keep a few more. So an important victory. We're into the fourth round of the uh, FA uh, Trophy. So we're going into 2023, still in the competition. I think the only time we've been in the competition in the following year, um, we had to withdraw because of COVID, didn't we, when we were due to play Havant and Waterloo. So that's a, a real bit of uh, progress. And this is a competition that we can win. I think we could uh, go a long way in this competition, win it, it would be very difficult. You've seen the, the types of teams that go all the way in terms of Wrexham and Bromley, wasn't it, last season? So. A, we, the, the Wrexham are playing against Scunthorpe, aren't they, tomorrow night? So everybody will be watching that and listen, whoever we play will have a great chance at home against anyone. So we're really looking forward to whoever comes here and we'll, give, we'll certainly give them a game. We'll prepare as well as we can and uh, we feel we're a match for anyone in this division. And important uh, to get a game uh, on after a little bit of uh, a break ahead of the two really important uh, games against FC Halifax Town over the Christmas uh, period, which are undoubtedly going to be very tight affairs. They will be. I think their, their season's reflected ours, hasn't it, in terms of probably a slow start. Chris probably has taken a bit of time to sort of decide what's his best team. Um, I think we've just taken a little bit of time to, to find a feet in the model that we're in. With regards, I'll keep saying it, not the performances, uh, just the, the cutthroat side of things that we've, we've always had here. So hopefully, as you said, we can go there and they'll come here full of confidence, we'll go there full of confidence and vice versa. And I think there'll be really good games to be involved in. So that's the thoughts of Altrincham manager Phil Parkinson as the Robins have made progress tonight into the uh, FA Trophy fourth round when we will take on the winners of uh, Wrexham uh, or Scunthorpe, uh, Scunthorpe United who... Uh, uh, Lock Holmes on Wednesday evening.